Hello everybody. In this video, I will solve an example problem and we will analyze the stability of this closed loop system using the Hutterwitz technique. Okay, so if you remember, we already solved this uh, transfer function of this uh, topology in the uh, previous example and we obtained that transfer function from the input to the output is simply equal to T of C is equal to K out divided by S squared plus a and S. Okay, I think it's true. Plus K in plus K out minus one. Okay, that's great. And the idea is finding a range for K in and K out such that the closed up system is stable. We are just interested in absolute stability depending on K in and K out, and currently there is no limit of. Uh, on k and k out, these can technically also negative numbers if possible, of course, uh, to make the system close stable. Okay, so if you remember in the root Hurwitz, so what are the coefficients? a0 is equal to 1, a1 is equal to k in, and a2 is equal to k in plus k out minus 1. Okay, so if we fill the root table, s square s1 s0 okay so this is 1 a0 we jump one step so this is equal to k in plus k out minus 1 just do it like this okay that's great that's nice okay this is k in we use a1 and this is 0 and if you remember uh, the exact details of the root table, you can always look at your lecture notes. And only coefficient that we need to compute is this, because we already know that this is zero, we need to compute this coefficient, which is simply equal to multiplication of this coefficient with this, okay, minus multiplication of one and zero, which is zero, divided by kn. So technically this coefficient is equal to k in multiplied with k in plus k out, minus 1, minus 1 times 0, which is equal to 0, divided by k in, which is technically exactly this coefficient. So this is equal to k in plus k out minus 1. As you can see, the root table end up being uh, pretty easy. Okay, so if you remember the, uh, the rules of stability of the root table is that we uh, take the first row, let's change the color. Okay, we take this part, this row, okay, and all of the coefficients in the first column, first in sorry, not row, should be greater than zero for absolute stability. Okay, so one is greater than zero, it is in tech. Okay, so the second condition is k in should be greater than zero. It's our first condition. So we found that first of all, for uh, obtaining a stable closed loop system, k in, uh, which is the gain of the inner loop here, should be greater than zero. In the second case, we know that k in plus k out minus 1 should be greater than 0. So uh, since let's write it from the perspective of k out. So k out should be greater than ooh, minus k in plus 1. So technically, these two conditions cover the range of uh, stability uh, such that the closed loop system is Bible stable, so let's change also color. I don't like this much. Okay, so let's draw this uh, on a like technically uh, x y uh, plane and to better understand the range of stability. Okay, so first of all, we know that k in should be greater than zero. Okay, this is k in, this is k out, so we should be limited to this region. Okay, we know that. Okay, so no uh, negative k in is allowed for the stability. So k out should be uh, greater than minus k in plus 1. So technically we have a boundary, which is the line k out is equal to minus k in plus 1. This is the like boundary of the stability, where the stability breaks down. Okay, so this line is simply is this. Okay, so let's change the color. This line is this. Okay, oops. Like this, this is crossing here, this is 1. This should be 1. Okay, this is 9. 
and k out should be technically larger than minus k n plus 1. So it means that in order to have a stable regime, okay, let's change the color. Do we have nothing? Okay, oh, that's great. We have different colors. Okay, the, for the stability, the k in and k out values should be located in these regions. Okay, so first of all, as you can see, k in has to be greater than zero. Okay, sorry, this is cor not correct. Okay, so this is parallel out. k in has to be greater than zero, and k out needs to be above this line. So this is the whole range of stability from the perspective, as you can see. Uh, depending on the value of kn, k out can be less than zero, or it should be uh, uh, higher than some number. And as you can see, if k out is greater than one, and if k in is greater than zero, the system is always stable. Okay, so in general, when tuning the controllers uh, of a closed loop system, the one of the first thing that you should do is somehow uh, trying to figure out the range of stability and picking gains in these regions to satisfy some transit performance uh, characteristics.